Diamond One completed it, mate. Completed it, mate. Let me tell you, over the last four slash five days since the new ranked was introduced, I've been weaving in and out ranked matches with Larry and Laurie, and honestly, they have made it an absolute breeze getting to diamond and this was mostly solo games with a few games being with friends and gold league but let me tell you the points fluctuate massively when you're playing with friends especially if some of them are in bronze or silver and i just find like you have a lot of people that are playing in groups that aren't necessarily close in their actual points so it makes the points that you receive you beat them and um, really fluctuate massively whereas i found it was a bit more consistent when i was playing solo but going forward diamond will be like the old power league i believe it was called power league um bands and pits so solely playing larry and laurie in this challenge all the way up until masters is probably not going to be realistic so a special thanks to gavin law um who reminded me that via a youtube comment and for any of you that do want to uh message me in the comment section go for it I, as i say i do make every effort to reply so that means that we kind of need to figure out what the strategy is going to be like going forward i figured that larry and laurie and edgar are always going to be good picks because i think people in general will gravitate towards these type of rulers larry and laurie because they were really really strong so anybody was playing recently probably would have picked them up um, and i still think they're really strong post the nerf and then edgar because everybody just live and loves playing edgar hates playing against him and i think he he just brings a lot of value to the game and for people and he's just one of those brawlers that's a little bit easier so we'll definitely use him obviously we really need to have like nine brawlers in the back pocket essentially because you can have three bands either side let's assume that those three bands were different and then you've also got the three brawlers each side that you pick so obviously diamond plus you can't have same brawler together which is kind of frustrating so that means that we we probably need a third and potentially a fourth as backup i'm kind of thinking at the moment larry and laurie and edgar will be my main picks and then potentially jackie or kit as the third so if you do have a brawler that you want me to have we think i should include in the challenge going forward because we will be doing videos when we hit mythics when we hit we're out of diamond we hit that we hit mythic and then when we hit legendary and then finally when we hit masters so there is a lot to do um and as i say this season only lasts for a month so we've got to do it within the next 24 days so let me know what your thoughts are on that in terms of the build so for any of you who haven't seen my previous videos i'll flash them up on screen now and links for those in the description we didn't change anything in the build so still rolling with the gadget uh, order fullback um we're still running with a shield gear and a damage gear and then we're also still running with protocol protect i don't have any intention on changing this build to be honest um one because i don't have the other gadget or the other star power but also just because i'm not really sure if they're going to be stronger than what i've already got but that may change over time and then as for edgar then he's obviously going to be primarily going to be hardcore as gadget damage gear with shield gear and then fisty cuffs for the star power we don't have the hypercharge for him yet so again we may need to pick that up we start getting a little bit higher that's primarily it to be honest for any of you guys that are looking to get into diamond fairly quickly i'd say that larry and laurie has been an amazing pick literally haven't let me down you do get a lot of sort of strange occurrences in solo play um up until diamond we'll see whether the quality of play is better what do i mean by that you can just get a lot of people within the game that kind of have level nine brawlers but they don't come with any gadgets or star powers or don't come with any gears and to be honest i'd let them off for gears but not coming in with gadgets and star powers like i said in my previous video is just absolutely criminal i also find that people are really frustrating um on gem grab specifically so don't ask me why but i don't know if this is just kind of like a lock on thing like where people just kind of lock on but when you and your other teammate have got like 10 or 12 or whatever gems you've got to win don't keep attacking like just just draw back just like come back down the map or whatever because the closer that you are to your spawn point if you die the more likely you are to get those gems back and ultimately win so see a lot of people just still going in and just doing risky moves when you're literally about to win in gen grab which is really really frustrating as for the other modes obviously brawl ball is my least favorite 
And um, playing Larry and Laurie, you very much do step back quite a lot. You're doing a lot of damage. So you're kind of more on defense than you are attack, to be honest. Um, in that, so I didn't really go for too many goals. If there was an opportunity, then I'd go for it. For, for the most part, I'm kind of sort of defending slash supporting with damage. As for heist, that's kind of like a combination of the two. So half sort of having to play defense, then half sort of plan attacks. You really just have to judge that one. Obviously, if you've got other champions that are coming into the safe quite a lot, then you're probably going to want to, you know, make more of an effort to defend because once you throw Lorry out as well, you can really stop people from, from damaging the heist. Uh, and then as for knockout, it's just a case of, again, staying back and trying not to die. So knockout can be a bit interesting because obviously if you've got bad teammates and you just die straight away, then you're going to struggle a little bit. But if you can stay back and try and sort of, you know, attack the other brawlers without why they're distracted by your rubbish teammates, sometimes you can take them out and then a 1v1, obviously, or a 2v1, as Larry and Laurie, is absolutely doable. You can still win that as long as it's not like a bang or a... Edgar that can jump into it without Laurie. So I would just say with Larry and Laurie, you are weak without teammates and without Laurie ready to throw out. If you've got Laurie and you've got teammates, you're laughing. Um, and then obviously you can pop the gadget to kind of get some health back and to kind of do some like jukes as well. I also find that if you throw Laurie out and you can see that he's about to get pummeled, especially by like throwers, Mike, that type of stuff. If you're behind uh, an object, then you can kind of hit his gadget and then that will draw Laurie out of the out of danger but also give him some health back as well we've taken a few hits so that can be really really good don't underestimate the power of keeping an eye on ammo and what your enemy brawlers are doing when they're throwing out stuff it can really help you um win the game once you start sort of looking at that while you're while you're playing and then in terms of just final comments from me then so yeah as i say larry laurie has been absolute breeze it is a little bit challenging post his nerfs to obviously get laurie powered up but once you do have uh you know you've hit a few brawlers a good few times i think it's eight but don't quote me on that i think it's around eight then you're in a pretty pretty good space but that's it really like i hope you've enjoyed this so far as i say it's been fun getting to diamond i don't think it'll be too much challenge i know one of my friends had quite a few issues when they were playing with bad teammates and they were trying to play lots of different brawlers i would say that if you are really really confident and you play really well with a specific brawler then i think getting to diamond for the most part you could probably just play that brawler um, all the way up until Diamond, and you will, by the law of averages, you will just eventually win. I have every confidence in that, that any brawler that you are really, really good with, and you fully understand, you can make them work in most of your games. I'm confident of that. But if any of you are struggling, then do let us know if you are and why. that would be good to know. But the next video that's going to be coming out is probably going to be my Mortis 800 Trophies in solo showdown so look out for that we've already got him there which is great and then the next brawler that we're going to be looking to do in that series following popular vote larry and laurie <laughs> surprisingly so larry and laurie we've got to get him to 800 trophies to be honest he's at 744 now so it's going to be fairly achievable depending on what the map is there are some brawlers that i'm just finding so fun and so easy I may even supersede the 800 trophy mark and go straight for the 1,000. But I always felt like 800 was a good, healthy start. So, again, if you think that it should be higher as like a, a minimum to achieve, let me know if you think 800 is just pretty easy on every baller in Solo Shadow. Then we'll, go, we'll start looking to go for 1,000 trophy um, milestones rather than start at 800. Good to get your feedback on that. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys. See ya.